what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more hunter hunter man i know a lot of you guys was disappointed that i did not do 136 and just wrap up the arc but lord have mercy <laughs> as i said man i thought that was a great place to actually end the reaction there with the culmination of the relationship between meruem and kamugi that was a brilliant story told by a brilliant writer could not say it any better anyways we're gonna jump into this it's time to wrap up hunter hunter and i'm a little sad i have to say i'm a little sad that it's close to being over i think we got about probably around 10 episodes to go so we're gonna jump into this man at 136 and see how things go so the beautiful story man how they wrapped it up still need to know what's going on with gun i'm guessing we're gonna fi um find out in the upcoming episodes what's really going down how they're gonna wrap it up and stuff like that um netero is a goner so who's gonna be chairman now it's a lot of questions There's a lot of questions to be had of course so we're gonna jump into this and see what happens in 136 to see how they really wrap up the entire chimera and arc and i will see you guys over there so let's go watch these episodes i don't know how many i'm doing today so today we're going for 75 likes yes we'll be right back here i'll see you guys for the review all right so as i was saying there at the end of that last episode i think that was 139 i think it was 139 right yeah i think that's 139 so that was four episodes but i was saying at the end that you know killer has the most interesting arc in this in the story from you know if you're going to talk about somebody that you know overall was you know basically a main character right um still love gone story story but he started to unravel because of what happened you know during the chimera and arc but i still think Kilua as the most interesting story because now we're kind of seeing that Kilua wasn't this how old you you think Kilua was when he was hanging out with aluka back then that's how they were showing it i don't know i want to say they look like it's around three or four years old um so as I was saying, they they basically turn Killua in the type of person that he is uh, today. Uh, I mean, before he met Gon, and Gon has really turned him around to kind of remember. Cause look at what he said when he entered the room, you no, know, or when he was heading down there. He said, "I can't believe I left my, you know, my little sister to be dealing with this shit." You know what I'm saying? Being locked in a room. And all of that, you know, being locked behind four steel doors, bruh. Armored door. Like, they lock her up into a, to a freaking vault, bro. Like, that's crazy. That's how much they're afraid of her. And I think, I think what they do is use, um, they use Alaka to make crazy wishes. They don't care who dies. They always make sure somebody else that does it, you know what I'm saying, that does it so that the the consequences is not on them. But they, they're now thinking that Killua is going to make, you know, doing what he's doing out of, um, you know, hatred for his family. And he's not, he's going to be thinking emotionally and not thinking of, you know, the rules or whatever. Um, and it might get them killed right because you know the person closest to you gets killed um as a sacrifice if you don't fulfill four of the requests basically you die you die plus the person closest to you dies and also other people close 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 to you so the person you spend the most time with is what i'm understanding so the lady that wished for a million dollars she didn't die, right? She didn't die, but her lover died, um, right? Her lover died. And 
and a bunch of other people she trained with and stuff died. <laughs> there was a lot of things explained about Alika's powers, and it's really interesting. And that also goes to show you that, I mean, if, if you don't think already that probably Tagashi is one of the smartest people on planet Earth right now, if you weren't convinced then, you must be convinced now. Because, I mean, you know, you w would want to watch over that those couple of episodes just to understand Alaka's powers. Because it's very intricate, very well written. And, you know, if you don't take a second look at it, you might still be confused as I am right now. But I think I got the gist of it. So, they didn't even know you can have, like, options to you know making the wish and stuff like that obviously alika spent more time in talking about alika killua spent more time with alika so he kind of understands her power a lot more i don't even think they know she can heal or he uh, you know it's confusing anyways that might be tr might be a translation error on their part or maybe they just don't know what she you know she he or she is really because Kilua calls her calls her his little sister and they call her um him their little brother. <laughs> Let me not confuse you guys. But earlier on in the episodes that we've watched before, there's this this election going on, which is also a mind F if you wanna call it that. It's also that with Jing playing mind games with these people. Because he's like, I have, he really doesn't have any desire to be chairman. They said the minute he gets picked He's going to turn it down because it's not what he wants to do. You know, he doesn't strike me as that kind of type of guy anyways. He strikes me as an adventurer. He wants to yeah, travel the world and do all of this stuff. That's why he's always running and telling people to find him. <laughs> you know, so interesting. And as I said, man, about his powers, I think either he, can, he has a small glimpse into the future, which could be a couple of days, maybe, you know. It could be years. Who the hell knows, you know? But, or he's just perceptive like that, or he's just a, on that genius level where you where he just can basically, he basically told us the type of person he is based on what he said to Beans. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, when he said that, when you can get your target to move how you want them to move, you have truly succeeded as a hunter. Um, so... In, in in those ways, he basically put things in motion so that things happen the way how he wants it to happen. So you can use that terminology to kind of determine how he did things for Gunn, putting things in place so that Gunn would get the training and, you know, be brave enough to face him. But I don't know. You could do that or you could or you could go the future route as, you know, as in him being able to get a glimpse of the future, the future, because it's crazy. It's just crazy. You know, if, if it's just smarts, if it's just genius of how he does things, he's on another level. You know what I'm saying? It's like he's Tagashi in the story. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like his IQ must be off the charts, but, um, so, yeah, man, I, the opening episode that we did, you know, closing the Chimera Ant arc was pretty awesome, man. Um, you know, I almost teared up for Raina and her mom. It, you know, I was, I was sitting here, I was trying to fight back tears because I was like, man, that's awesome. And also, guys, put in the comment section and let me know about this baby calling herself Kite because Kite wasn't fed to the queen. You get what I'm saying? At least not that I know of. That's why I'm saying maybe Kite's brain was fed to the queen and she was just controlling, you know, just his body with his head. But it, there was there was a lot of marks on his body. So there's a possibility that she fed the brain to the queen. It is a possibility. You know, but it's pretty awesome to know that Kite's you know, is still living on through this little girl. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff, man. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I'm always here. I'm always going to be doing reactions. Hopefully, 
Um, I don't know how many episodes are left. Um, I think maybe we still have 10 to go. I didn't count, but I think we get into the 150s, right? I think it goes to like 153 or something like that. Let me check really quick. Um, so I'm not talking out my ass here. Hunter, Hunter. Pretty cool stuff, man. Um, you know. Yeah, so let's do no sub. Yeah, man. So it's just incredible to see a writer, you know, do this much. You know, it's just one. Of, it's just one of those things that just makes you wonder you know what i'm saying if you could do the same sometime oh it's just got about 10 episodes left it goes to 148 so so we're around that area we got about maybe nine i want to say nine episodes left right why is my camera blurry what the heck was that why did my camera just lose focus and i what i did i, I didn't even do anything like <laughs> That was so weird. But anyways, man, thank you guys for tuning in as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. Just remember to leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section. And also, man, subscribe if you're new. Even though we're almost done with this series. But to all of you guys who are checking out the previous ones and have been trying to catch up, you know, binge watching my reactions, man. Thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, there's some new content coming um, later on. But I'm trying to you know wrap up hunter hunter so we can jump into something else also there's other stuff you can check out on the channel so make sure you do so if you can okay thank you guys so much for tuning in you're a terror squad i am mr terror by reacts and i will see you guys next time on some more hunter hunter yeah